Mac Method Gang. Today we're going to be talking about the art of aesthetics. I'm going to be talking about the most aesthetically pleasing body parts and why you need to work on them and what it's going to do when you actually have these parts. Like I always say in every video, you want to work out for yourself, bro. It's literally for your health and you want to look good. You want to feel good, of course. And obviously a byproduct to it is yes, you get more attraction. Yes, you get more looks. Yes, you get more attention from girls and whatever. But the main point is you want to look aesthetically pleasing. Let's be honest. You want everyone wants to look aesthetic. I don't believe anyone that says that they don't care how they look. That's just not the truth. And just because you care, I have to put this disclaimer first because I get a lot of people in the comments saying, oh man, all you care about is vanity. All you care about is this no i don't that's how i know you don't watch my actual my other videos because i say this in every video but yes your exterior is obviously what you want but you obviously need to have it inside your interior needs to be good you need to be someone that doesn't just care about vanity and looks you have to have substance bro but that's a whole nother video I make other videos on that anyways if we're talking about aesthetics oh subscribe if you haven't already V taper you need to have the dorito chip back you need to have the back like this because once you have the back like that it automatically makes your frame look bigger it makes your frame look once you have the back like this it makes your frame look way bigger it makes clothes rest on your body better it's gonna make it more snug and it's just gonna look it's gonna look way better especially if you have a bigger waist because once your lats are bigger it's gonna make your waist look smaller it's gonna create that illusion of this. You want this illusion. The main thing for aesthetics is having this illusion right here, the V taper. That's like main thing to be honest, is having that V shape. Like anime characters, they always have the V shape. Any superhero, they always have the V taper. They always have it, bro, every single time. So you wanna have the V taper, thick, excuse me, thick hard back. You wanna have a thick hard back. With me, I have a pretty wide back. My back is actually pretty good, pretty wide. And it's pretty thick though. The muscle density is pretty thick on my back. It's damn near have a hunchback. Not in a bad way though, but hunchback in terms of, if I'm standing pro side profile, right? And you can't really see how wide my back is. You can just see how thick my back is from the back. And I'm telling you, that's a huge thing, especially when it comes to girls and stuff, because when they hug you, bro, they're hugging you like this, right? or they're hugging you with their arms under or whatever. And guess what they feel? Your mother came back. And guess what? If you have that nice, big, wide, thick back, hey, it's just, bro, I'm telling you. I and there's a lot of girls that tell me that they really like my back. I'm gonna put it to you that way. I don't wanna get into stuff, but literally it's a back, bro. They see my back and they're like, damn. Because, and obviously I have other parts, but the back is a big, big thing. And of course, other, I mean, like certain different parts, whatever, everyone has their preference, all this crap. But the main thing is the Rito trip back is what's very, very, that's very aesthetic. That's probably the most aesthetic thing you can get is the V taper. So we're going to move on to boulder shoulders. Now this kind of works with the V taper because you can't have complete V taper without boulder shoulders. Because guess what? When you wear a shirt, this part falls on your shoulders. So if you have big rounded, I'm saying full shoulders, the delts, side laterals, the front, you're gonna look huge, bro. It's gonna look so crazy because I know this because I had a wide back before and obviously I I keep growing every year. Like I keep getting more bigger, more aesthetic, more leaner, but I never prioritize shoulders to the point how I do now. I hit shoulders every single day. Obviously not in the same volume, tense every day but i literally do hit shoulders every single day and arms i don't care people might say it's not what is it what's the word it's not optimal I, it's optimal for me bro because the amount of growth i've had in six months is insane my shoulders is fucking ginormous i have had multiple people now telling me yo what's your shoulder routine what do you do how do you whatever and my co-workers are telling me did you get bigger did you get, I did get bigger but most of it is from the fucking shoulders bro Anyways, once you get the shoulders, it completes the V taper look because now if you have no shoulders, your V taper is basically this, the wide back. And then it sucks. It's like a box. You don't want this. I hope you guys can really see what I'm talking about. But if you have complete shoulders, you'll have the V taper, right? And then it keeps extending because now your shoulders are wide. It's almost like a heart. Your body is almost like a heart in a way. If you get rid of the arms, 
because the shoulders are are still wide so it completes the look it makes it look way better and it makes it look bigger look at more plates more dates Derek for more plates more dates bro he has death star delts those are ginormous delts and the most the thing you see as soon as you see him is like yeah this guy's big ass shoulders and it just looks good it literally just looks good makes every clothes fit on you perfect the most important thing with clothes is the shoulders bro. because this part right here is it's gonna hug it so well and then it makes the other part of the shirt hug your arms obviously you have better you know, good arms but the shoulders help that insane so definitely 100 percent shoulders bro you need to work on your shoulders do them every day honestly i don't even care if you want to talk about optimal i don't give a fuck bro all i know is that this is what i did all i know is that when i was working on my shoulders six months prioritize them every day so obviously i would literally have shoulder days where i literally just will do shoulders for the most part but they've grown i've had people accuse me of steroids just because of my shoulders that's how much they grow to the point where they're like yo what is this you know what i mean and it just it makes your arms like fucking ginormous bro look at this come on and this is no pump anyways abs combo with low v taper you want the abs combo with loads feet taper. This is a huge part of aesthetic as well because the abs are aesthetically pleasing. Let's be honest. Any aesthetic guy you see, aesthetic Instagram, it's always the abs, the V taper, the shoulders, what I just said, but especially abs, especially abs with low V taper. Excuse me. Low, especially low V taper combo. I'm telling you because whatever, how many abs you have, six pack, four pack, whatever, it just adds like that Greek God look. It, it just adds to you. you need the abs to be aesthetic, bro. And I'm not talking about skinny man abs to where it's just, you have nothing, you have no arms, you have no shoulders, you have no back, you have nothing. You're skinny as hell and you just have abs. That's, no one cares about that. That's like, I had that before and trust me, I no one cared. So it's like, you shouldn't care about that. You want abs when you have the shoulders, when you have the V taper, when your chest is a little popping, you have arms, you're filled up. Because now they see like, this guy's big and he has abs like me. I have the six pack, bro. I have a six pack. I have the snake skin. What snake skin is on the side right here. You ripples that look like snake skin that leads into your abs. Yes, I have that. And it leads into the V taper on the bottom, the low V taper, what I like to call. Now, what does that signal? That's why I put this XXX here because I'm telling you, this and this is on the feeder, bro. Once you have the abs, you're wearing your whatever pants, shorts, whatever, but it's more pulled down to where you can clearly see the line <laughs> and that V taper, and you see the vein. Like, man, I'm not gonna get into it, but you know where I'm going, bro. If you have a brain, you know exactly what I'm talking about and what I'm referring to. And hey. This shit is just, it makes everything easy, bro. It makes it super easy, increases your attraction level by 20 million and plus aesthetic levels by 20 million because that's something that's aesthetically pleasing. You look at great guys, all these pictures, they're not really the buffest dudes, but they have the abs. They have, you know what I'm saying? Some sort of that V part. So if you have the shoulders, if you have the V taper, like I just said, and the chest, and you have the abs that leads into that and it has like the vein part like right it's over with trust me especially when you go to the beach bro you want to take your shirt and you want to take off your shirt and have abs no don't tell me oh i don't take my shirt you don't take off your shirt because you're fat you don't have abs or you're a twig and you don't want to take off your shirt even twigs take off their shirt which is good but fat people be in the beach with no shirt on or with a shirt on because they don't want to be seen without a shirt why because they're insecure too because they know, like, damn, I'm fat as hell, I don't want to. So get in shape, bro. What? Anyways, so yeah, this is major. Chest. Chest, I'm going to be completely honest. Chest isn't really that aesthetic. Yes, it, it is aesthetic in a way, but you don't have to have the biggest chest on the planet for it to, for you to be aesthetic. You know what I mean? You can have a chest and still be super aesthetic because of your shoulders, the, the abs, and the freaking, you know, the V taper, right? But chest though, it definitely does help. If you have everything in order, chest just completes the package. That was me. What I was lacking on was chest for me. I had shoulders. Well, I had shoulders. I had arms. My back was 100% definitely good. And I didn't really have a chest like that. But when I started prioritizing my chest, it really brought everything together. I, I still look aesthetic either way, but the chest definitely does help though if you have everything you know what I mean? Chest is just a major part too because it helps the shirt. It helps the shirt fit snug. That's a major thing. It helps everything look better on you because 
check me out if you have a wide a wide thick back you have your chest out and you're standing like this it's gonna even help the illusion that you have a bigger chest one and because if you have no stomach your stomach can't make your shirt look bigger than what it is it's gonna make it rest easier especially if you're tucking your shirt because now you have the chest pushing your shirt out here but then when it gets to your stomach it's way your stomach is like sink sunk sunk in you know what i'm saying so the shirt isn't gonna be like this it's gonna go in here from the chest it's gonna have this part and it's gonna go down because you're tucking your shirt in and it's gonna make you look huge all around because then your back is gonna be ginormous your arms are fitting so it just brings everything together to my opinion is it the most aesthetic thing i wouldn't say it is but it definitely does help all these things help guys you want to have all these in general but i'm just saying this is, can you can definitely do that arms is huge so Let's be honest, every guy wants arms, they just spam bicep curls, and you shouldn't, well, you should in a way, but you, it's, if you don't have the V-taper and all these things in order, I'm not saying don't work on arms, you should be working on arms just as much as you're working on everything else, but you should be more focusing on getting your belly down, getting the V-taper down, and getting the shoulders popping. I'm not saying don't work on arms, work on arms, you know what I'm saying, We're definitely work them out, but if you're fat bro and you're just spamming arms and you're just skinny you're spamming, like you should be worried more about dieting you should be worried more about carving your back into that v-taper than just spamming arms because i see a lot of guys with literally just all they do is just get dumbbells and just do dumbbell curls and then my thing is like you're not even doing the thing that's going to give you the biggest part of your arm which is the triceps triceps is what really makes your arm look huge now here's the thing i know sometimes you'll get you'll see people with huge triceps no biceps and that doesn't really look good in my opinion you definitely want biceps but it's just like you shouldn't if you don't have anything else bro you should not be just doing lumbar curls that's the least of your concerns lose the weight bro get the if you're skinny gain the weight but don't spend your whole life just doing dumbbell curls thinking that you're gonna have the best arms you're not because you have to prioritize diet and not all these other things but they definitely do help though because if you have this bro i'm saying i don't even have the best arms in the world i don't at all but it's more the shoulder i'm trying to tell you it's this part yes i have decent arm i have okay arms you can see it you know what i mean you can see the peak you can see the the spring you can see that i have decent arms but it's the shoulders that bring it together i'm trying to tell you the shoulders bro. the shoulders and now finally legs I put XXX because legs, bro, a lot of people think that, oh, I'm just going to get a bigger hook. Excuse me, guys, I'm tired. So a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to get a bigger, I'm going to get a bigger upper body. And then they forget about legs. No, bro, you need to get legs because your legs symbolize that you put in that work, bro. I'm going to keep it real. I've gotten so many compliments telling me about my legs, about how my, my glute area my legs how it's just like and what does that symbolize symbolize that i know how to get down bro it symbolizes that i can put it down it's just and this is obviously subconscious stuff but i'm gonna be honest it, it works and plus it does help it, when you have strong legs that strong base that strong frame you're strong in general but you have the legs bro you can really damn like, you can really knock it out of the park i know i'm just talking about crazy right now but it's true it's true and plus it's good too because you never want to be that guy with just a big upper body and no legs bro you look so goofy that's like one of the goofiest things is just having a big upper body and no legs that is so bad especially when you're at the beach and you're saying you have a nice upper and then you look at the legs and wait hold up what happened it, it, it doesn't look good so if you have the and it plus it helps it helps with the illusion as well v taper the same way the v taper does this it make your waist look smaller it does with the legs too because now the legs is basically like a v-taper going down so you'll have a literal hourglass type of body not in a girl way but in that illusion way you'll look like an x you'll literally look like an x because your waist is in the middle you know what i'm saying and now it's getting wider because of the freaking lats so they have that v-taper and then when you go look at their legs down it's wide because of the thighs and so it makes your sh your makes your waist look even smaller and it just looks better, it's, especially if you have cut legs like me. Once you get those cut legs, it just looks good in shorts. You know what I'm saying? It symbolizes what I was just talking about. It does all that stuff. So that's why I put XXX here. Definitely work on legs as well. But as far 
if we're coming down to what I think is the best thing you can get in terms of aesthetic, if I had to pick two out of this whole thing, obviously everything is important, but if I had to pick two out of this whole thing, number one, V taper. I have to say the V taper. And number two would be, let's see here. This is a tough one. I would pick, to be honest, I would pick, let's see, low key, the shoulders, to be honest. I'd pick V taper and shoulders because this is gonna complete the package. Now, it might look goofy if you have super small arms <laughs> with huge shoulders, <laughs> but I'm not saying it in that extreme, in that kind of extreme way, you know what I mean? I'm more so saying it if you have that V taper and it complete the look with the shoulders, it's gonna make your arms by default look bigger and, and your whole frame in general. But honestly, all any of these things can, you can pick whatever is aesthetically pleasing. I'm saying guys, you should work on all these things. Don't just, oh, he said, v taper so that's all i'm gonna do no idiot do everything on here especially if you're fat as hell especially if you're skinny as hell i'm saying get your weight up lose your weight you know what i mean i do have a coaching program book me i'm actually gonna tweak all this stuff guys working a lot behind the scenes because i'm gonna change up this whole thing launching a community specifically to i already made a poll on this but that's gonna be coming soon actually and that's pretty much it, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. This is the art of getting aesthetics. Hope you liked. If you watched the whole video, comment down Unchained. And I'll see you guys in the next one.